Today we are talking about a beautiful brand new fragrance, not necessarily from a fragrance house per se, but from one of my favorite stores, which is Tiffany & Company. Tiffany & Company recently released a brand new fragrance named Rose Gold. Hello everybody, my name is Catherine and welcome to my channel where I like to talk all things beauty and fragrance. Tiffany probably named their new perfume Rose Gold because it's kind of the fashionable metal of this time period and I was curious as to what metal my viewers are wearing. So please comment below if you are more of a sterling silver, yellow gold, or rose gold kind of person. I would be very interested to hear what my community is into right now. But getting back to the rose gold fragrance, to give you an idea, uh, I got the sample. You can see the beautiful rose gold at the top and then the base of the sample package is the infamous Tiffany Blue. If you haven't seen the bottle for this fragrance, it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, Tiffany knows what they're doing, right? It's a beautiful crystal that's the rose gold tint to it and then the, the Tiffany Blue around the topper. And if you just look at those, all those beveled edges, just I mean, it's just beautiful. But back to the fragrance itself, Rose Gold is considered a floral fruity. It's a 2021 fragrance, as I said, brand new. Jerome Epinette is the nose behind the fragrance. If you have yet to experience uh, Rose Gold by Tiffany & Company, it's very reminiscent of, if you're familiar with Gucci MV2, it has that same pink grapefruit sweet floral scent to it. It also is reminiscent, I'm not saying it smells like, but kind of the same nature as uh, Chanel Chance or Chance Tendre. It's a very bright and effervescent fragrance. The top note is black currant, and then the heart of the fragrance is blue rose and iris. Blue rose is actually a varietal born from a Japanese rose and violet. And then the base of the fragrance is musk and ambrette seed. Ambrette seed is musk mellow, and it's what gives the fragrance its warm finish. It's a very optimistic, bright and effervescent fragrance. It's very, it starts off very, as I said, kind of this pink grapefruit, citrus scent to it, but yet this floral undertone and then kind of moves more towards a warm floral and then finishes with that warm uh, musk ambrette seed. It's very youthful, fresh and captivating. It would be an absolute perfect fragrance for say a brunch. Kind of reminds me of like new, fresh and young mid-morning Beverly Hills with the blue sky and the warm sun. It's uh, shopping in a brand new department store with marble tile and glass cases and spectacularly sparkling jewelry with the spotlights refracting off of the diamonds. I mean, it's it's shopping at Tiffany's. It was released in July, which is the absolute perfect time for it. It's a perfect spring or summer fragrance. I think it's a great day scent. It's a great shopping scent. It's a great uh, brunch with the girls. Perfect for even running errands, but you still want to seem classy and luxurious and put together. It's a beautiful fragrance. So if you're looking for a great daytime summer fragrance, this would definitely be one that you should check out. I think that it would be a date night fragrance. Uh, it could be if it's a light casual date, but um, if it's a fancy dinner out or a, or a fancy night out of the theater, I don't think this is necessarily the fragrance for you. This is more of a day scent, more of an everyday. So again, this is Tiffany & Company Rose Gold Fragrance. It's available at Tiffany & Company, as well as, I'm sure, your fine department stores. The 2.5 ounce bottle runs for 138. The 1.7 is 108. It also has an accompanying uh, body lotion for 55 and a 6.7 ounce, as well as a hand cream, 2.5 ounce for $39. I really like it. If you're looking for a light, cherry, everyday scent um, that smells of new shopping, Beverly Hills, mimosas at an outdoor cafe, this is the absolute perfect fragrance for you. Again, my name is Catherine. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a return guest, thank you for your loyalty. I appreciate you all, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.